What is going on guys, Sir Lewis here with this important wealth transfer video. If you guys are a part of the wealth transfer, please watch till the end because in this video, I'm going to share a very important message here that really resonated with me after watching this. You ever watch a video and it just resonates with you? It just speaks to your spirit? The video I want to share is from this channel called Spirit Move Ministry, which I already shared many times on my channel. But again, I'm going to leave the link to her channel. Um, definitely go subscribe to her. She has a great channel. And if you didn't know, she actually been prophesying about the wolf transfer months or years ago okay and the amazing part about her channel guys is that i don't think she ever talked about crypto in detail about the wealth transfer every time she talks about the wealth transfer that i watch it's always just in general she doesn't say whether it's crypto stocks you know all these details i would say the only detail is that she covered a uh, banks and that banks are eventually going to collapse or like restart to a new system so let me share here the clip from her latest video right over here he kept waking me up all throughout the night telling me to read luke 19. as you know that's commonly what he will do he'll give me a dream i mean most of my prophecies come from dreams because i i get prophetic dreams or he'll wake me up all throughout the night and he'll say read luke 19. read luke 19 all night long and then i so i wake up at like two in the morning and i put in my notepad read luke 19 so i don't forget in the morning and um so then i get up and read it and so he had me read luke 19 and i knew he was about to give me a word because that's usually what he does when he wakes me up all night like that so i begin to read luke 19 these people were given each and a certain amount of money to invest while the master was gone. They were each given 10 minas and they were supposed to do something with them. Well, two of them invested. One of them took the gift and hid it away because they didn't want to lose it and they didn't want to irritate the, ma the master. So they hid the gift away. So there was nothing gained from their gift. And basically they were told, give everything from that person and give it to the one with the most because they made the most of what they were given. Now you're probably thinking, how is this a wealth transfer? Track with me, you guys. This is legit a wealth transfer word. I told you it comes in lots of different forms. You have to understand the depths of Christ and his parables especially will rock you. So he goes on to say the one that, that created and put the effort into receiving the most, working the gift that they were given, they ended up receiving all because they didn't waste it. They didn't waste what they were given. And boom, as I read that, the glory hit and the Lord said, this parable of the minas, this is the wealth transfer. This is a part of the wealth transfer. Those who did nothing with what they were given lost it all. Basically, that was given to those who produced fruit from what they were given. This is the wealth transfer. From the wicked to the righteous, from the lazy righteous, there's a whole bunch of conviction about to go down right now. We're going to break some things off at the end of this. From the wicked to the righteous, from the lazy righteous, to the on fire righteous. This is God's word, you guys, exactly how he gave it to me. Those who haven't taken the gifts and used them will lose them to religion and complacency. But those who have picked up the mantle will have everything they need given to them. They will lack nothing. In the season ahead, as we are in the end times, uh, we're not coming into the end times, we are in the end times. That means we're in the final countdown, people for real. The battle is on for the final souls. The enemy's entire goal is to bring as many souls to hell as he can. So we're coming into the season of the biggest massive transfer of souls from darkness to light. The devil doesn't give up that easy. The Lord said he's given us all things. Okay, here's your 10. What are you going to do with it? Here's the gifts I've given you. How are you going to use them for my kingdom? And the Lord said, this is the wealth transfer. This is a spiritual form, not a physical form, but it's going to show up in a physical form. He said, this is a spiritual form of the wealth transfer. And he said, this is some of the season that we're coming into. Those who are full of complacency and religion and, and don't want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit, don't want to go with the glory, don't want, they want to stay dead, dry bones. Everything that should have been provided to them that they could have used that they have not used is going to be removed from them, the lazy righteous, and it's going to be given to those who will actually do something with it. And the Lord said, this transfer has to happen. And it is a part of the wealth transfer. This story in Luke 19 is, a, is the wealth transfer. 
It's much bigger than just, you didn't invest. No, this is the spiritual side of what the Holy Spirit is revealing as part of the wealth transfer. Some of what we're going to be receiving and have agreed to walk in what's necessary for this end time glory, the final outpouring, final great awakening, everything to bring in those final billion souls. Amen. The goal is, is for us to now go, okay, we are in the end times. We need to take what we've been given and say, okay, God, use us, help us to know what to do with it. Help us to get my form of the gospel out there, what, whatever he did for you, we overcome by the word of our testimony and the blood of the lamb. So the thing is, our testimony is so crucial, you guys. The enemy hates our testimony. What are you gonna do with what Christ did for you? Are you gonna take the beauty of that thing and go make sure others know the power of the cross? Because he doesn't allow us to get saved to hide under a bushel, to go bury it, like the one wicked servant did. They went and buried the gift. We'll see religious complacent people. I will tell you this, everyone has this one mantle that they've been given. And that is our testimony of what Christ has done in us. That is full of fruit. That is full of reproducing. So here's the thing. The Lord said, those that are my wicked servants, well in here he says, lazy righteous people. I'm gonna take what would have been your portion because you're not doing nothing with it and I'm going to give it to those who are on fire. And so I said earlier, this is a spiritual version of the wealth transfer, but it's also physical. So what's the physical side? The physical side is this. The end of the word says you're going to lack nothing. Those that are on fire are going to lack nothing. And so if that's the case, that means physical provision, financial provision. What would have been stored up for them is now going to be transferred to you because God knows that you'll use it for his glory and kingdom. And I don't know what that could look like. It's much bigger than spiritual. It means ministries that are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, that are complacent and religious. But in this moment, in this revelation, the Lord said, this is a picture of the wealth transfer. The wealth isn't going to just be taken from the wicked, from the national banks that are going to collapse. No, it's gonna be taken from the lazy Christians, the lazy righteous. This parable, all of them were servants. The one wasn't not a servant and then just was some random dude that came off the street. No, he was already a servant. All three of them were. So that means all serving, if you wanna put it this way, Christ, and all serving the master. It's gonna come from lazy righteous people also. What a video. Now there's a lot to talk about this. And if you guys haven't yet, definitely go subscribe, like her video, leave a comment saying Sir Lewis sent you, but definitely subscribe to her channel because she has a great ministry and she always puts out amazing messages. Now I'm gonna give my response and opinion on her video and one detail here was that we are in the end times, regardless if it's 10 years from now, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years when Christ returns, right? And if you go back in the video, she says that this wealth transfer is gonna serve as a huge event in time to get more people to Christ. Right. And, and the devil wants to stop that. And it really touched me when she talked about testimony and the fact that the devil hates your testimony. And man, like I've been planning so many things regarding testimony and sharing my testimony. But I do believe that many people are going to have unique testimonies that they're going to be able to share with people. And that's going to convert a lot of people to Christ. Right. And the devil doesn't want that. So you can see there's just a huge battle going on right now, a spiritual. She also talked about the wealth coming, not just from the wicked, but the lazy righteous and by lazy righteous she meant like you know christians that believe in jesus right that are saved but aren't on fire they're not willfully working to the best of their talents because just like she said everybody has a certain talent everybody has a certain calling that they can find in their life if they try if you are a follower of christ right you have testimony or you believe in christ there's a certain reason why you believe in christ and there's many you know complacent uh people that just doesn't share their, their testimony right? They don't share the gospel, right? They're complacent. And she talks about the money being transferred from those people as well to the people that are on fire, the people that God knows that they will use, right? The money from the wealth transfer to build his kingdom, to share the gospel in their own ways. So what you can get from this video is to be on fire. Don't be complacent. Don't be a lazy, righteous person. Everybody has talents that they got from the Lord 
callings. You just got to go out there and find it and start making plans now to share your testimony, to share the gospel, right? And you just so many unique ways too, right? It's not just one certain way. So this was a great video. If you guys want to watch the full video, you guys can watch. I'll leave the link in the description. Again, go subscribe to her channel. She has a great ministry. And yeah, this video was her latest video. It's recent called Wealth Transfer. The next big shift is beginning. And if you guys want to be up to date with all the wealth transfer news and things and want to be a part of a group chat, join the free telegram pinned in the comment below. We finally hit over 300 people and people on there are sharing dreams, opinions, a bunch of videos as well. So definitely go join. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.